Hi, this is Justice. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the, the selection and the transform tools. That's M for selection and T or control T for transform. Let's go ahead and zoom in. We're going to take this panel and we're going to drag it out on the screen and we're going to resize this. And here what you can see immediately is as I drag this selection around, it's going to adjust these parameters uh, in real time. You can choose between centimeters, pixels, or inches. I like working with pixels. It makes sense to me. So I'm going to select that. And here you can see as we adjust again, we can see the angles updating in real time, the position in real time. And then if we scale it up and down, we can see width and height being adjusted in real time. And let's put a little paint on the screen. Let's go ahead and transform this with keyboard shortcut T. Now, when you edit with the transform tool, this is going to permanently change those pixels. So it is not non-destructive editing. Just make sure that you have enough undo states in order to go back and change things again if you change your mind. You can grab these little nodes, these little blue nodes, and you can move your selection around the screen very easily, or you can use keyboard shortcuts to help you do the same thing with a little bit more control. And now if we want to transform this, we can use Alt and Shift and Alt and Shift together to make changes. So Alt is going to scale in and out from center as opposed to from the opposite node, these little blue circles. If I press Shift, it's going to keep the same shape or aspect ratio as it goes larger and smaller. And if I do Alt and Shift, it will do both at the same time. Ah. Same shape while it goes from the middle, smaller and larger. On the outside, you'll see we've got this little rotate icon just anywhere along the outside of this selection, and it's going to let us rotate the image. These little icons here will help you flip horizontally or flip vertically. And then in order to commit whatever your transformation is, there's a little button that says OK or Cancel down here or you can press enter on the keyboard. Let's look at the selection tool. Again, keyboard shortcut for that is M. And we have five options here, rectangle, ellipse, polygon, freehand, and magic wand. So we're gonna look at these first four, and then we'll look at magic wand last. So these four, you're going to select a rectangle. If you tap outside, that'll commit that selection our circle, or oval, the polygon tool here. Now, once you connect these, you're going to have to bring the cursor back to the beginning. You're going to see that little circle right next to the pointer. Let's tap. Now, once this is tapped and the line is still red, you can adjust this and then tap outside to commit. Or we can do freehand selection. Now, all of these you can undo or deselect with this icon here or the keyboard shortcut control B. This is select all. These options are in the edit menu as well. Select all, deselect, invert selection, show selection. Uh, show selection is in the layers panel. Uh, check out that video for more on layers panel. Okay, so here you can see we have this selection right here. If I click invert, it's going to move that selection to everywhere except for the original selection. So if we grab a brush and we start painting. You can see that we're on the outside. We go back here to the selection tool and we click invert selection and go back to the paintbrush. What you're going to see is we are on the inside now. All right, let's undo both of those and go back to the selection tool. Now, if we want to add to the selection, you can choose this icon here, this mode. And then as mm -hmm. it did that because we are still inverted. So let's go ahead and invert again. Now let's add again. You're going to see it's going to add. This right here is the subtract mode. And now we can do the same thing with shift. And you can see that written right here, shift or alt. So the shift key, let's add the alt key, let's subtract. You can very, very quickly 
make those adjustments to your selection this way. You can move your selection by just putting the cursor inside the selection. Again, to deselect, we can choose the deselect icon right there. Let's look at the magic wand tool. So here we have the same options here for selecting, inverting, adding, subtracting, and we have anti-aliasing, which just smooths the selection so that it has a cleaner edge. Contiguous, what this means is that if I select black right here, or black here, or black here, it's only going to select black that's touching other black, or whatever color you select. We turn off contiguous. When I select black, it's going to select all of that same color that's on the screen. If we choose alpha, what this is going to do is going to select the pixels and also capture their alpha information. That means it's going to capture the alpha information as well as the pixel information. So two things. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So we're going to grab the pastel brush and we're going to make two strokes here. And these have a lot of alpha in it. We go back to the selection tool. Use alpha is turned off. We're going to select here, make a new layer, hide this one, and then we're going to fill this layer in so we can see how it works. Let's go back to the first layer. Okay, and we need actually to select this using alpha. Okay, so now we have this, and it looks like it's only selecting this small section. It is actually selecting more, it's just not displaying it. So we'll go back to that other layer, and let's grab the airbrush and fill in this selection. So what you're going to see, when we use the magic wand and we have use alpha turned off, it's only checking to see if there's a pixel. Is there a pixel? Yes or no. So it has one bit of information. Here, it has two pieces of information. It has, is there a pixel? Yes. And what is the alpha of that pixel? And so when we go back and we start painting over that selection, it's going to respect the original transparency of that pixel when we paint over it. Super useful, really powerful, and super cool. All right, let's clear the layer. In order to demonstrate tolerance, I'm going to do a little bit of magic here. We're going to do a quick screen grab, and then we're going to paste this right on the screen, sRGB. And we're going to use this, we're going to say OK, or hit the Enter key. And we're going to use this to demonstrate the tolerance. So tolerance goes from 0 to 255. And 255 will select everything on the screen. If we bring this down to a fairly normal tolerance level of uh, roughly 32, let's go ahead and let's make it all the way 32, and we select on the screen, what you're going to see is it's going to take 32 shades of the color we picked above and below. So if I select here, 32 shades, here, 32, we bring this up higher, it's going to select a much larger gamut. Uh, based off of where we clicked originally. Bring this down. And let's select, we want to add more, we can press Shift and select Further or Alt and Deselect. The same way we were using Shift and Alt before. That's it for this tutorial on the selection and transform tools. If you have questions, put them in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're a digital artist, subscribe right now. This is a great channel. All right, I will see you in the next video.